Hey and welcome back to the Aquarius Habitat. I'm standing in the entry lock. I've got uh, my work, set, work site set up in front of me. Uh, today we've got a series of complex operations going on outside the ocean. We're doing a simulated spacewalk on the surface of an asteroid. So uh, Weed and uh, Randy are currently outside on an EVA. I'm going to be their IV, which is their internal communications person. I'm in contact with mission control on the surface and with the, the two EVA members outside and together we're directing them uh, to go look at specific uh, sites, rock sites that we want them to sample and that we want them to categorize for the scientists back on Earth. Um, it's an operation that today involves all four of us in addition to uh, Randy and Weed who are outside. We've got Eve on the rover ops. We'll have a look at him in just a second. Uh, but as you can see, I've got uh, a big setup here. I've got my comms console that I can talk to them with. I've also got their hel helmet cams here in front of me so that I can see what they're looking at and help direct them as they uh, progress through the uh, work. And as you can see, we've got real-time uh, connection issues, camera angles or camera views come in and out. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, this is uh, one of the benefits of a, an analog mission like NEMO. We can go through the real uh, type of uh, mission ops that we would do, hopefully one day in the future when we come to an asteroid. And over here, we've got Eve uh, flying a rover that's uh, outside supporting uh, Randy and Jeremy, uh, providing additional situational awareness by having a camera view. And today the current is so high that I'm fighting to keep the ROV in position and uh, are progressing like that go out there. So this is the view that you have out over. So that's the yes. compass on the rover? Yes, affirmative. You have the compass on the rover. On the right side, you have a kind of grip that we can uh, we can use. Like you see, now it's getting open. 